So what I've got is some radioactive minerals that I know of that are up in the wall right here. Uh, down here in the feldspar, you know, it's there's a little bit of background. You hear a few clicks. They get higher, higher in the wall. So right here is a little bit spicy. So, and if I shine the UV light up here, right up near it, you can see this whole area. The uh, inside, the darker part, is where there's uraninite. So the primary, one of the primary uranium ores is right there. Secondary minerals kind of come out of it at a distance here. I see, to my eye, I see some of the blue of the feldspar. There's some red in here, some uh, an algae or some sort of plant life generally. But all this green, powdery looking stuff, that is all botanite. Um, a little less radioactive than the, uh, the uraninite. But I am close to the uranium, which is up a little higher here. As you get right in the center of it, now that's why that's hot. So one of the things we're going to look at here is, well, first of all, obviously, the I can light the whole thing up basically with the aurora at this distance. And this is about four feet, it looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk back. Yeah, here at this point, the whole uh, the whole radiating part of the ot night is all right there. I'm leaving the, my phone camera zoomed in over here at the uh, at the uraninite and ot night so that you can see it as I'm moving away. The other camera, you know, is kind of showing me moving away. So I say this is about 20 feet. You may be able to see that it's still a little fine. I'm going to keep walking backwards. This is about 30 feet away, and keep in mind it's daylight. This is not a dark cave. This is, you know, it's not direct sunlight, and it is in shadow, but it is inside. I'm about 50 feet away, and I can still see, I can still see it glowing, flashing as I go. Still walking backwards. So obviously I'm not as close to the end, you know, and it's not as bright because I'm not right next to it. But if it was dark in here, that would, you know, be easy to see. So anyway, there, there we go. This is a natural bit of radioactive uranium, you know, it's a complex set of minerals that's in here. But from, uh, I guess about 10 feet away, this has got a very nice, uh, you know, you can see the whole thing, very nice. This is classic. Um, it's great seeing this in the, in the wall. This is how, you know, when you find hot night in this area, you know, you might find a bright green, but close to it is obviously the source of where, you know, where it would have come from. So this is a fantastic show, you know, example showing the, uh, the radiating nature of this. And a little bit down below, if you have any rainwater, it tends to make a lot of this um, kind of follow cracks in the rock. So up here is the top of it, and then a little further down, a little bit more, probably another, might even be a little more uraninite. Let me see. Not as hot as the stuff up top. And then I can see some green in the feldspar going down. I see little specks. We uh, got the camera zoomed in, so you probably don't see that. Let me try to zoom this out a bit. Actually, I'm zooming this in further to get a better view of the of it. So now I got a fairly tight shot. So at about 10 feet away, eight feet away, I got a, I have a good view of the entire radiating 
mass of the Othnite, and actually about 10 feet away, uh, it's got a nice wide beam, so you can kind of see, you can kind of see the whole thing all at once pretty nicely. So, all right.